Okay, you know how this store Playing a little earlier. So you want to sleep earlier. Funny how that works. Alright, so going back to the Estacado. Rip them to pieces. Going back home. Shotgun. Volver. Uzi. I think the Uzi's fine. Hey, Buster, what's up? Guess they do the spoilers. Yeah, no, I mean, again, Buster, you don't uh, ever feel obligated to uh, have to stop by. It's just a stream, my man. But uh, thank you nonetheless. I hope you're doing well. I hope you'll do what needs to be done tomorrow. Very important day. All right, low clearance, nine foot, 10 inches. All right. Shut these off, huh? Hmm. So it won't let me go in there. But there's three guys I killed. Where's the other guy? in this little vent here. Can I go in here? Nope. Doesn't look like that. What if I toss him? Nope. Yo, what up, Rex? See if I get shut down tonight with the music. <clears throat> no smoking in this area. Notice employee entrance only. Warning, all activities are recorded on videotape to aid in the prosecution of any crimes committed against this facility. Alright. So now we're dealing with dudes who have lights. And that sucks. Let's 
see, what can I upgrade with? Uh, slash an enemy into the air and then slash it into the ground for an explosion that will stun close enemies. <clears throat> okay. Press G to channel the darkness through your guns for several seconds, drastically increasing weapon damage while not using any ammo. Alright, cool. Uh, there's one relic. Alright. Right there inside. Oh. What is that? What is that? Come to me, boys. so I can shoot the light. Perfect. get in here. There were people shooting at me. I want to grab his heart. Now is there a relic around here? I mean it would it would make sense. Game designer, I'd put one around here. Hide it. So I just gotta look, because I just have a feeling it's around here somewhere. If I were a game designer, I would put it in the back of a car, inconspicuous, and no one would know. That's just me, though. 
And it would definitely be in here. There's got to be a way to get in there. Since I got an achievement. Not exactly sure what, but... buddy Keep eating, and that's what I'm going to do. No other unauthorized entry visitors must register with security prior to entry. Okay. So no relic in here. I have a feeling it's in one of these. See, the light sources are very iffy with this. I can shoot out the lights, but they're still around. Uh, 
Okay, so the relic's not here. I would have figured it would, it would have been one of these, uh... Unless it could be here. Oh, very... I would have figured the relic would be around here. But never mind. I hope I didn't miss it. And are there any hearts I missed? No. Okay, this is where I was before. Okay, okay. Oh shit, Dolfo. Okay. Jesus, am I glad to see you. These guys came in like a bunch of fucking cockroaches. They're out of their minds. And you're not? I'm still alive, ain't I? More than can be said for these limp dick fucks when I'm done with them. You better head upstairs, boss. I got you covered down here. I ain't bleeding that bad. The elevator's coming down. Don't let anyone out of here, Jackie. Jackie, it's me, Vinny. Don't shoot. Jesus Christ, boss. It's a real shit show up there. Your Aunt Sarah's hiding out in your panic room. We gotta get up there. Right now. You guys get upstairs. I'll hold the fort down here. Sure, Dolfo. You got it under control, my man. Uh, all right, well, I can't grab any of this stuff. But I can open this door. So maybe this is where the relic is. Aha. Uh -huh. Good to know. Tony's hot wings. Come and enjoy our spicy wings. Please leave keys for Joe. Cool beer. Office rules of conduct. Respect each other, dress appropriately, mind your language, no smoking breaks, no alcohol, customer is king. Karate lessons, challenges, sign up until February 20th. Parking garage hours and holiday schedule for employees, Monday to Friday, 7 to 6, Sundays and Saturdays, 8 to, eight to 5, or 8 to 10. Public holidays closed. And the news. But it won't say anything. first artistic interpretation of the darkness <laughs> or as it was known then he who comes with the night <laughs> not the catchiest of names but pretty good when you consider that most people are still living in caves anyway at this point in history Cain you know Adam's son as in the Garden of Eden first guy to ever walk the earth Adam 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 had dealt with most of the demons and assorted nasties that still roam the world but no one had faced the darkness yet see God protected Cain from the darkness by making him unkillable it was a great plan if you happen to be Cain everyone else not so much 
Murder didn't stop just because Cain ran out of brothers to bludgeon, so the darkness still had plenty of souls to latch onto. Some legends suggest the darkness was first carried by a son of Lilith. Others say it was a Nephilim, but I don't buy that one. We'd all be dead if that was the case. Not that it matters. Okay, wh whoever it was, through him, the darkness raped, ravaged, and generally fucked things up. Only the Angelus had the power to face the darkness. All Cain could do was warn people. So he sculpted twelve of these statues, entrusting them to twelve holy men. They carried these statues across the land, spreading word of he who comes with the night. But the darkness did not want to be known. Within a year, it had devoured all twelve of them. The statues were gone, shattered, or lost to time. Well, until now, apparently. Okay. Cool. So that is the one relic in this area, so that's fine. Hey Jack! Best day of the week so far. So in this area, there's no relics, so I don't have to worry about that. Pick up Carbine. Okay, that'll be better with the, uh, with the ammo here. 50 hmm <laughs> hey, you know what I, I don't think I need that for now Alright, so I got revolver. I 
and the SMG. Okay. Some serious shit, man. Johnny, talk to me. What am I up against here? The seal on the envelope you found on Swifty? It belongs to the Brotherhood. The who? They were the original keepers of the darkness, Jackie. The Brotherhood is the holy fucking grail of secret societies. They're led by a guy named Victor, a high priest, royalty to them. He's not a good person, understand? Yeah. I met that asshole. He came after me with some kind of thing. He was sucking the darkness out of me. There's only one thing that can do that. The siphon of the Angelus! Jesus! I thought that thing was lost for good! Hoped it was lost for good! What the fuck is it? It's the device the Brotherhood used to cage the darkness. It's an instrument of light. It was made thousands of years ago. Some say it was forged by the Angelus itself. It's the only thing that can contain dark essence. Well, um, besides, besides you. It's powerful, Jackie, and dangerous. If they found it, that's bad. Really bad. If the Brotherhood gets a hold of the darkness, uh, uh, who knows? But I'm sure it's not good. All right, all right. I get the picture. Look, stay put. I'm gonna put these fucks out of their misery. Can I talk to Johnny again? Nope. Am I glad to see you? We never saw these guys coming. They got into the damn kitchen. Who the fuck are these guys? They don't look like nobody I ever seen before. Jackie, we gotta get you up to your aunt Sarah. And hey, watch yourself out there. You too, Vinny. You be careful. I think they're all one. Come on, let's do this. Take your revenge. There is a relic here, okay. I'm sure there's more.
Damn. All right. I need a better gun. The house cannot die. Game just crashed, I think. It just crashed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But it literally just crashed. All right. That's a first. Let me see here. Losing the game. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully the checkpoint saved. But I'll have to try it over again. That is strange. Very, very strange. Okay. Oh, I hope the checkpoint saved. I really do. Okay. Kill some dudes. Okay, this went a lot better. Not sure what happened before, but... These guys are just chilling here. Where's Tony? Oh, there he is. So I gotta eat the hearts as I can.
Gotcha. So let me grab these shields here, because that way I can decapitate somebody. Toss you. Gotta eat when I can. Alright. Where is the relic? It's gotta be indoors then. Mr. Alright, so these dudes with the shield can't really fuck with them. Let's 
So there's to be something that makes them to kill them. Have been ruined. That sucks. Fucker. Can I go in there? No. Making me go through a linear path. There's another relic. Perfect. Trying to break through the door. We gotta move now. Nice, right, so we found a relic, so that's good. You know, this isn't the first time the Brotherhood has tried to take the darkness. Yeah, 
things look bleak right now, but believe it or not, they've done worse. A lot worse. It was a long time ago. So far back, no one knew the Brotherhood even existed. They'd been around, but necessity required they keep a low profile. See, they were watching the darkness, studying it, learning what made it tick. They already knew enough not to fuck with the darkness, so if they were going to move against it, they needed to be totally confident in their knowledge. I have to give them credit. The Brotherhood knew what they were doing. They accurately predicted who the next host would be. Swapping children at birth, they raised the host as one of their own. Then, when he came of age, they chained him to a table and tortured him to death. This is the blinding sun. One of these was inserted into each of his eye sockets, gouging out each eye in the process. Each device was then slowly expanded until it shattered his forehead and cheekbones. This was the first of twelve tortures. The darkness didn't manifest itself until the fourth. That means it took two more of these unspeakable acts before the Brotherhood could be certain they had the right guy. That doubt didn't even slow them down. These are bad people, Jackie, and they have it in them to be a whole lot worse. Oh dear. Alright, so let me get Aunt Sarah. Gotcha. So that's why I couldn't go here, as this was a scripted part. Keep the assault rifle, but that's that's better. Okay, it's just the Uzi. All right. Oh, 
I'm right, all right. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You had a rough night, Jackie. You've been skipping out on your meds again, bud. Is this hell? I've been through this, Jackie. No answer means no, I didn't take my medicine. <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble with Dr. Vic again. I got the Darkness comic books here. Hello, Jackie. She suffers because of you. Jenny, I'm sorry. I don't want to lose you. Jackie, good to see you up and around. Hello, Jackie. Oh, shit. Jenny is mine. We want the darkness. None of this is real. Jenny, where are you? Bring us the siphon. Kill everyone in the mansion. Silence its tongue. Come to the dark. You must resist. Stay away from the light. Jackie, good to see you up and around. Benny? I, I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what, you go by the dispensary before breakfast and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. What can I do for you? Way to go, bud. You're doing a great job. Jackie, I'm so proud of you, bud. What the fuck is happening to me? It was very trippy. <laughs> is this the real life where Jackie is actually in an insane asylum and this is all just a figment of his imagination? Night shift, please throw out coffee filter.
Dispensary, day room, washrooms, main entrance. Stroke your heart, Foundation of America. The perfect curescription, Inutin. Emergency exit. Hi, yes. I'm calling for the results of those neuropsychological tests we ran on Adolf. I was just wondering if anything seemed immediately noticeable. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, that makes sense. I think when the bullet entered his head, he suffered damage to the amygdala, maybe other areas of the limbic system. Yep, he's having a hard time working out what's real and what he read in a book. Oh, they're talking about me. Alright, well, I got a bot. Oh, isn't that great? In search of followers. In Lucas 251060. Well, I suppose that's quite the uh, amazing thing if I have if I have bots coming for me, you know. Hi, this is Jenny. Yeah, sure. I think so. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. God. Yeah, okay. I'll put in a request form and you can have the record sent on to Dr. Butcher. He's definitely familiar with the case. Dr. Butcher. No, I think that kind of therapy can take on a life of its own. We have to let it play itself out. He'll get tired of wearing two socks on his hands at some point. <laughs> yeah, okay. But you be the one to tell him. And make sure you tell the one on the right. The one on the left gets kind of shitty sometimes. Jenny. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. I can hold. No, I'm just saying, I have to wait half an hour for someone to pick up the phone, and then you put me on hold. And then I have to listen to that god-awful hold music for another ten minutes. Oh, I'm not getting upset. I'm already upset. In order to get upset, I'd have to start off being okay. But I'm not okay. Do I sound okay? Look, I ordered a cake for his birthday, and you spelled his name wrong. Okay, what's your name? How would you feel if it was your birthday and I called you Eric by mistake? You need to understand something. He's very sensitive. This kind of thing can set us back a year. Hello? Hello? No, he's been a sweetheart. He goes up and down, but he does well. Okay, so this just this just loops. Interesting. Hi, yes. I'm calling for the results of those neuropsychological tests we ran on Adolf. I was just wondering if anything seemed immediately noticeable. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, that makes sense. I think when the bullet entered his head, he suffered damage to the amygdala, maybe other areas of the limbic system. Yep, he's having a hard time working out what's real and what he read in a book. Mein Kampf? You think that was a bad idea? That was the next one going to be about the cake, because then it is looping. Yeah, sure. Yep. I think so. You don't say. I'm concerned he's regressing to a more say. complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disorganized. Let's try closer. Oh my god. According to the evaluation, he had a problem with his white self count. Wouldn't that suggest a more atypical approach? That's Butcher. 
Assuming he stays the course, we'll try to restart his therapy. He'll be encouraged once he gets back into the program. I'll speak to his therapist. And that's the main bad guy with the cane. That guy didn't wash his hands. Don't be that guy. Use soap. Rub for 90 seconds. Rinse. Turn off type of towel. Give 10 Hail Marys. Don't be gross. Wash your hands. got a different accent. Smile, Berlin, Russia, USA, France. Alpha, what the fuck's going on here? What I really want to do is paint. Well, not you too. Mental note to self, never again open up a war on two impossible fronts. Und Never again go within 150 miles of Moscow during the winter. Oh, and remember to buy cyanide capsules at the store. I am now convinced my mistake is to engage the enemy on the eastern and western fronts at the same time. Such a situation is untenable. As such, I will be closing the eastern front with immediate effect. Please inform the Russians we will have to wait until I am finished in the west. Life has a funny way of surprising you when you least expect it. Take the utter and conclusive defeat of the German army, for example. Boy, did I not see that one coming. So instead of Dolfo, he's Adolf. The British have moved all of their troops into northern France, accompanied by two divisions of American troops. In response to this obvious bluff, I shall have my entire force marshaled in southern Germany, ready to counterattack at a moment's notice. The tides of war are now turning in my favor. The cafeteria staff have agreed to serve Bockwurst every alternate Wednesday, and my therapy sessions have been increased to five times per week. <laughs> Victory is within our grasp! We shall fight on the beaches! We shall fight on the landing grounds! We shall fight in the fields and in the streets! Damn it! Ask yourself, what is the capital of the Assyrian Empire? Hmm? <laughs> it's a trick question! The Assyrian Empire has ceased to exist, you big ninny! Ooh, a big ninny. Let us play a game of Connect Four sometime. It would be wise to accept you cannot stand up against a master tactician such as myself. I will win a decisive victory and crush your little red circles with my superior yellow ones. Alright, I'll take that challenge. It's better for everyone if we don't bring up the subject of Russia. Except I just brought it up. Have me shot at once! I've put on weight, you know. You might say I'm fighting the battle of the bulge. <laughs> oh, you're such a kid, Adolf. I'll be here all the week. Please dip your weight and try to win. <laughs> battle of the bulge. Too sexy for mine shirt. Too sexy for mine shirt. And I'm so sexy it hurts. <sighs> Nothing beats the sight of bombs raining down upon the Bavarian night sky. I love the smell of cordite and gunpowder in the mornings. 
I have been listening to Mr. Jenkins on his theory of time travel. I'm convinced he is onto something, and have put all the top scientists of the Reich onto the problem. We now expect to win the war by last Thursday. So, you think you have won a decisive victory? Well, in retaliation for your insolence, we have decided to force electronic techno pop onto your asses. How do you like me now, Schweinhunds? Okay. Once again, Germany loses the World Cup to lesser opponents. I am convinced the result would have been different if we had set up 30 millimeter cannons on the perimeter or laid down heavy fire onto the position of the other team's central midfields. Ah, uh, Lily Marley. Too bad we never could make it work. You were a singer, and I was out of my tiny little schnitzel. Mental note to self. Never again open up a war on two impossible... Okay, so now he's booping his dialogue. ...and fifty miles of Moscow during the winter. Oh, and remember to buy cyanide capsules at the store. I am now convinced my mistake is to engage the enemy on the... That's right, fuck off! <laughs> what did you see plan? The plan to rule the world, the game to rule all plans. There you are. Hello and good evening. Aha, guten Tag. Aha, guten Tag. Life has a funny way of surprising you when you least. That's right, fuck off. Sick. You're a Jackie. I know you. I want a cigarette. Oh, you're sick. Oh, you're sick. Where are we? I see you. You're a Jackie. I know you. You look funny. Where are we? Can I help you? I see you. I feel sick. Go away. Who's your doctor? I don't want to talk. So, what's up? Are you still here? What? You're a Jackie. It's like one floats over floor over the cuckoo's nest. I like you. I can see right through you. Go away. I'm not well, you know. Who's your doctor? Go away. Tony. I think so he's the one. Straight. He he's says not he lives in a one. big mansion. The eyes are too close together. I think he's the one. He's not the one. The eyes are too close together. Come on! Tell me something! Anything! We're working on a plan to escape this place disguised as a band-aid. Yeah! But we're not sure if we can pull it off. Thanks for nothing. Hey! Hey, you! Who, me? No, not you, asshole. Him! The one with the hair. I don't think he likes us. I don't like him either. If you find your way out of here, make sure you come back to get us! Unless it's through a wormhole or something. Don't be stupid. Only a worm could fit through a wormhole. I hate this place. Don't you? Hey, he asked you a question. My doctor keeps trying to kill me, you know? Sure. Everyone knows Dr. Vic is crazy. He must be nuts. He said we were getting better. I think there are five ways to tie your shoelaces. Six if you count bending over. Good boy. What? My mom used to say, for Pete's sake, pay attention. But I met Pete, and he told me he never had any expectations of me whatsoever. 
If there really is life outside of this place, I'm afraid of it. What happens on a Tuesday in this so-called outside world? Exactly. We just got a notification. Last real lava, thank you for the follow. Hey, how you doing? Thank you so much. I know you uh, hosted the other day, so thank you for that. So I am uh, kind of like in, in an inter-mission mission where um, I'm just getting a lot of dialogue here. That's pretty cool. There's really no time like the present. How come? Think about it. The moment you hit the present. Hey, thank you for the host as well. Appreciate it. You're not in it anymore. You're in the future. Except that it's now the present. Wow. And everyone thinks this is perfectly normal? Why do you always have to be the one that goes first? I don't know what you're talking about. Doing good? It's good to hear. Yeah, I'm doing well as, as well. Just uh, playing this game before I go to bed. Are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Kind of winding down. Like this, just then. You know, I don't think you can ever really find what you're looking for. Unless you're in a hardware store and you're looking for a nail. Oh, sure. Chances are pretty good at that point. Have I exhausted dialogue with time? I think I have. Yes, I have. But I already had a nap. Tony, please, tell me you know what the fuck is going on here. Lima beans are spies. Fuck me. Hey, got any fruit? How do you like them apples? Well, we just like the real Tony. He's always talking about food. I like fruit. I especially like bananas. <laughs> but they're not fruit, so I don't eat them. Did you bring me anything? Why are you even here? No, I didn't kill her. She killed herself because she wasn't listening to me. Life is a bowl of cherries. I lost my cherry in the back of a bus in middle school. Hi -oh. Come quat. That's a word I made up. The pineapple is a sensitive beast. It can only be tamed with yogurt. You don't want to drop fruit on the ground. It only encourages the maggots. Plums bruise easily. Just like somebody's face who can't listen to advice. Breadfruit doesn't taste like bread. And you can't put it in the toaster. Just because I like fruit, that doesn't make me crazy. People who don't appreciate strawberries, now that's what makes me crazy. Yeah, uh, Last Royal, have you ever played The Darkness? Uh, so this is Darkness 2. First Darkness I played way back on the Xbox 360 many years ago, but never got around to playing this one, so that's why I'm playing it now. To a bloody pulp if she'd only kept the kitchen free of meat. Alphabet spaghetti always contains the number of the beast. You don't put yellow dye number five in apricot jam. Check the ingredients of a blueberry. It is 100% blueberries. Good to know. If beef is so nutritious, why doesn't it contain vitamin C? Strawberries are precious. You don't waste strawberries. They don't grow on trees. If you leave bite marks on somebody's apple, don't complain if they kill you. I shouldn't be here. There are plenty of people who don't appreciate a good blackberry. Those sickos could use a good straitjacket. If you know where to look, you can always find germs in the produce aisle. 
I don't think carrots are good for your health if you're asleep when someone comes in your house. You know you're probably not even here, right? Oh, the plot thickens. Hey, got any fruit? How do you like them apples? I like fruit. I especially like bananas. Okay, so now he's looping his dialogue. you aren't watching, please turn the TV off. Barzai the Wise was never found. On the summit was graven a curious symbol as if the rock had been riven by some titanic chisel. B.A. Ever after the men of Uar feared ellipses and prayed by night when pale vapors hit the mountains and the moon. Eclipses, I should say. The end. Okay, so it kind of is like Darkness 1, where there are things you can watch on TV. The Other Gods, A Tale of the Dream Cycle. From the story by H.P. Lovecraft. Realized for the screen by Peter Rhodes. In the land of Ultar, beyond the river sky, dwelt a man called Barzai the Wise. Okay, so I was just looping what I what they just showed before. Barzai was leaned in the lore of the Earth's gods and had gained the desire to look upon their faces. Gods dance upon the mountain peaks, we shall make a pilgrimage to pay tribute. Atal, the disciple. But, Master, would it not be blasphemous to approach the gods of Earth? Nonsense, they would find it a privilege to speak with me. Barzai and his disciples set out across the stony desert. The rocky slopes of the mountain Athikla. I can hear their voices. I shall behold the gods, the proud secret gods of the earth who spurn the night. Glorious, the earth gods dance for me alone. But on that night came a strange eclipse that no one, not even Barzai the Wise, could have predicted. Uh oh. The other gods come, the gods of the outer hells that guard the feeble gods of Earth. I cannot turn away, the power of Yog satath holds me fast. Do not see, do not see, Shub Nigarath comes, she of the thousand young. The vengeance of the infinite abysses, the crawling chaos, let it not be, Nyarlathep. <laughs> the fuck? But he is only the avatar of the merciful gods of earth. Protect me from the damn of a pit. It is he who shall not be named. Hmm. 
This is trippy. I think this is the end. Barzai the Wise was never found. Yeah. On the summit was graven a curious symbol as if the rock had been riven by some titanic chisel. Does it say VA? Even after the men of Uldar feared eclipses and prayed by night when pale vapors hit the mountains and the moon. The end. Alright. Little educational watch, huh? Be kind, rewind. Those are the two guys that I don't like. Did you bring me a plum? It's good to see you. I think. It's you again. Hey, did you bring me a plum? So I can't talk to these guys. Hey Jackie, I got that thing you wanted. It's big. See what I will be right back, actually. Gonna go get a drink. So let me be right back. Alright, I am back, so let me get the gameplay show up again. Sometimes I just need to refresh it in OBS. Um, Royal, may I ask you a question as a streamer? I mean, I, I wouldn't call myself a streamer, really. I, I'm not a professional. I don't, don't do this full-time or anything. It's just uh, <clears throat> when I have time, I do it, but... So I'm not really sure what I could answer you, really, but, um, I mean, go ahead. 
Though again, I'm not a professional by any means. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? That's what I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get the rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jackie? It's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. I don't feel right in my head. And I think I'm not alone. It's too bright here. We need to keep watching because something's going to happen. It'll all be clear in the end. Do you think it's okay to... Do you think it's okay to... piece of a streamer name in your name if it doesn't take anything from them or is it wrong to have a piece of their name in your gamer tag or name? My friend told you were to him you were a pro. Um, I mean, that's very kind of your friend to say, but oh, I'm I'm not a pro at all. Uh, you know, a lot of these people who who do this all the time, you know, they've got big studio setups and all that, and I don't have any of that. <laughs> so, this is just completely just to, you know, pass the time. And because I play on PC, it's really just because it's easy to set up a stream on computer. Um, that's why I do it. It's not, you know, to get famous or, you know, make any money. No, that's not, the, that's, you know, I don't care about any of that. But uh, let me try to read what you're saying. It's worded very weird, so I'm not sure uh, what, I'm, what you were saying here. Oh, do you, so, like, you want to take the name of some other streamer and put it in your name? Um, I guess it really depends on how much of, like, the name you're taking. Like, if it's just one word, it's not a big deal, you know? But, you know, obviously a lot of these full-time professional streamers, you know, they they have a brand that they've been working for, you know, years to make. Uh, so if it's something that you're looking to use, you know, definitely the right thing to do would be to ask and let them know first, you know, because you definitely don't want to cause any trouble. Can you see straight? I can't see straight. I think that light bends and sometimes it goes around corners. <laughs> and here comes Jerry. He's on the 10 yard line. He breaks the tackle. 20 yard line. 30, 40, 50, 60, 100. It's a line drive to center. He's out in the paddock area with just one man to beat. Goal! 1,600 men dead and no one knew of their fate. None survived. This was the story of the charge of the Light Brigade. Tune in next week for more of their adventures. It lives in Viscera. You are the focus. It wants chaos. My hunger for blood. Okay, that was weird. That was that was weird. That's the darkness voice. I don't feel right in my head. I think I'm not alone. It's too bright here. <laughs> like ninja? Can I use ninja? In my, well, ninja is a very common word. So yeah, I mean that's not you know because the word ninja has existed long before the streamer ninja came around. So you know that yeah. But, obviously you don't want to be just called ninja, you know, ninja something else. Ninja with another word, or numbers attached to it, or whatever. Not just ninja, because that name is going to be taken already. But I don't see why not. That's not a big deal. We need to keep watching, because something's going to happen. It'll all be clear in the end. Can you see straight? I can't okay, so now he's repeating. We see value in what they don't understand. They always see value. That's why we went to the moon. People always see value in what they don't understand. They always see value. That's why we went to the moon. You're back. Bye now. This is 
Excellent. You've been busy. Oh, so he's only wearing one shoe. I didn't realize he was just wearing one shoe. Okay, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, like, something like Ninja, that's fine. Rare Dragon. Hey, thank you for the host. Appreciate it, Rare Dragon. Alright, so what time is it here? It is 11.25. Which it's daylight, so eleven twenty-five a.m. There you are. Off you go. Just like me. Infirmary, courtyard, main entrance, cafeteria. How are you today, Jackie? You should really remember to take your medication. She looks like one of the hookers from the brothel before. Oh. I can tell you missed bath time again this week, Jackie. Why don't you go play... Socialize with your friends? You should really remember to take your medication. Oh. I can tell you missed bath time again this week, Jackie. Why don't you go play... Socialize with your friends. You should really remember to take your medication. Bye bye now. Hi, Jackie. I hope you're feeling better today. You have a great day, Jackie. Are you okay, Jackie? You look like you've been crying again. What's wrong with crying? Hello, Jackie. You have a great day, Jackie. Your pharmacist, your drug supplier. February is American Pharmacist Month. Your pharmacist, for some reason, has quite the racket going on. You pay them to count pills for you. You pay them to take the pills from a big bottle and put them in a little bottle. How convenient for you. Because there is no way you could handle such a big job, could you? Brought to you by the Association of Keeping Pharmacists Employed. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Frank. Frank, I'm so sorry about Eddie. Oh, you mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Go on over there, all right? Oh yeah, take your time, buddy. I don't expect anybody to be watching these streams, so <laughs> you know if you have something to do, man, you you go do what you gotta do. Dispensary. Who are these guys? Lunch menu this week, Monday, ham with mashed potatoes and beans. Tuesday, meatloaf Tuesday, which is what they were talking about before. Wednesday, chicken soup with crackers. Thursday, assorted sandwiches with fries. Friday, turkey with diced carrots. Saturday, chicken breast with taters and peas. Then Sunday, broccoli cream soup. We got more darkness issues here. Nobby. What's he doing? <laughs> Is 
He's walking like the uh, the darkness, the uh, the little ghoul that follows me. Oh shit! It's Chief. Main entrance, reception, x-ray, and cafeteria. <laughs> Still doesn't say a word. Very true to his character. Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. But you died. Well, I'm clearly feeling better. Come on, go in and talk to Dr. James. Hey, bro. Hey, again, if you got something to do, I mean, I don't ever expect anybody to watch me, so you, you go do you, buddy. All right, so Edward is alive, even though he was killed in the actual game. Oh my god, it's Jimmy the Grape. Jimmy, Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. <laughs> Skull of the Human. The lower inner surface of the... Can't read what that says. Eight bears form the... Yeah, the words are too low res. Thai University, Doctor of Medicine, Springfield University, Master of Business Administration, State University of Marquinos, Health Science Center, College of Medicine, on the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in them, the trustees of the university have conferred on blank the degree of Doctor of Medicine. fucking way you're a doctor i've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again do you understand why you take the medicine jack i'm not crazy this is just an illusion if you know it's an illusion you could make it go away but we've had this discussion before you can't make it go away because it is not an illusion don't you see what's happening jimmy the darkness is inside our heads you mean the voice you hear jackie the one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not going to skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vick and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping okay. me here! Let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. <laughs> so I wonder, does the actual truth of the game, is he, has he been in an institution this whole time? <laughs> when I start watching someone, I stay at that streamer for that night, and any night I see them on. Oh. Well, I mean, again, you certainly, I don't. No need to feel any obligation for that. I mean, it's very kind of you. But again, I, I'm not consistent with what I stream. It's just, uh, really, whenever I have time, 
uh, before bed, so. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. Now, this is a pretty violent game, so I don't want you, you know, like, if you're not used to seeing that stuff, I don't want to, you know, have you see some crazy stuff. Well, it is lo loyals in your name, so. A royal. A royal loyal, same, same thing, right? Right, so Jenny's going to be over there. I see a lot of improvement in you, Jackie. Well done. It's not polite to stare, Jackie. Oh, I can tell you missed bath time. You have a great day, Jackie. How are you today, Jackie? You have a great day, Jackie. Hey, who's George? I haven't seen him. I don't know who that is. Are you back? Did you bring me anything? All right, so these guys are just gonna say the same lines. Hello and good evening. Thought they might say something different, but Yeah, same thing, and I like crazy stuff. All right. I don't know how far I'm going to get, because, I mean, I do... I don't want to sleep too late. Uh, I might wait until, like, 1.30, see where that takes me. All right, so Jenny's going to be right here. We're looking on the computer. He's still waiting. Oh my god. But wasn't sure if there'd be something here, but All right, so let me go see what Jenny, my girlfriend. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Just looking for any Easter eggs that may be in here. Jenny Romano. And this is the exact same degrees that were in the other office. So nothing special for her. for you we all are jenny i don't know what this place is but i'm gonna get us out of Why here would i want to get out of here jackie i work here i'm here to help you no no not you two not you two what the fuck is happening just stay calm jackie it's going to be all right now last time we talked you were telling me about the delusions you've been having you said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell. A and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? <laughs> when you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. My family, my, my friends. The darkness. Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? 
My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jenny, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. <clears throat> Let go oh of me! God. Come on. You are ah! doing All right, here we go. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go! Two! Three! Get him all. Please. Run, Jackie! Get back Run here, Jackie! People. Head for the bunker! Tell Eva I will be late! Like, can I fail? I can. Okay. You're powered in a table! Head for the bunker! Tell Eva I will be late! I, I just wasn't sure, I was curious. Are you still here? Oh shit. Where'd they come from? I don't do shots. Tell Eva I will be late. He must have ate some prunes. Stop him. Okay, I can run. Avoid the orderlies. Oh boy. Oop. Oop. Can't get me. Uh, he's running for the door. Jackie, get oh, back here. This way. There's nothing out there for you. That is the, uh, that is the guy, the little demon. See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jesus, I can't believe it. You're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus, it's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chase them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands is not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if uh, what if she isn't even real? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing! You go about your day. I'll find out what I can. Oh, wow. You seriously have a copy of the True Revelation? Think, 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 think. God 
damn it, I can't think straight. They said it's a pinch, but to me, it feels like a knife. Oh, this guy got shot. Got shot in the face. 5,000 years of this shit. Do you think these fuckers don't know how to be patient? Probably looking at us right now. Right now. When do I get some juice? Just a taste. I can stop. I just gotta get started, that's all. I'm, 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 I'm gonna find out what I can about the siphon, but just don't do anything crazy before I get anything. Okay? The Brotherhood are some dangerous fucking people. They're, you know, you know, sick in the head. You gotta know what you're up against. Look, these Brotherhood guys, they don't care. Hey, Linda, what up? I'm doing all right. Just uh, winding down before bed. I hope your day went well, Linda. Think, think, think. What's new with you? Trinity, Sister of Light, Graven Image. Brothers of Men, Key of Midland, I already saw. Diamond Deliverance, Roanoke's Bane. Blinding Sun, True Revelation. Fools, I already have that, thumb screws. So which relic uh, did I not look at here? You know, this nope. Already got them all. This is a fun game. It was busy, just working life. Hey, you know, that's sometimes that's all we can do with these days, so. Yeah, I actually never played this. Uh, I played the first Darkness way back on the 360. Way back when, but never got around to playing the, uh, the Darkness 2, so that's... Figured uh, now would be a good time to give it a whirl. <laughs> okay. Could do that. As well as that. to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. <laughs> Chief grunts. <laughs> That's all he does. He doesn't say anything. Oh my god, I just clipped right through him. Oh god, I just clipped through him too. What the hell? Alright, that's freaky. Just walk through people, what? Oh jeez. The house is totally fucked. But there are no relics here, so that's fine. One time, I, I went with Eddie to that, that strip, but I forget the name. Anyway, so, you know, I, I pick up one of the girls, right? And I take her into the can. So this guy starts knocking on the door, and I'm like, hey, do you mind? I'm busy in here. But the guy keeps fucking knocking on the door. So I open the door. Guess who it is? Black number eight. Guy was ducking us for months. He owes us like 25 Gs. So I fucking chomp on the guy. Let me tell you, that guy wasn't just big, he was huge, right? So I'm smacking him and I'm hitting him and I'm yelling for Eddie to come help me, right? And Eddie... Uh, Eddie... I, I'm sorry, boss. I gotta tell you the rest another time. 
Or Eddie. Don't blame yourself for what happened to Eddie. Or to your aunt Sarah. There was nothing you could have done. All those years together and I never told him. He was the best pal a guy could have. I'm gonna be moving in with my sister and the kids, you know. Those kids need somebody to look up to. And if it ain't gonna be Eddie, it's gonna have to be old Uncle Frank. Oh yeah, because Eddie was married to his sister, yeah, yeah. I remember this one time I, I went with Eddie to that, that strip club. I forget the name anyway. So, you know, I, I pick up one of the girls, right? Take care of yourself. Hey, Jackie. Don't blame yourself for what happened to Eddie. Or to your aunt Sarah. There was nothing you could have done. There's just blood everywhere, holy shit. Hey, wait, what's up? Jackie? So, uh... I was fucked up, huh? Too bad about the old lady. She was nice to me. What a day, huh, Jackie? I heard you got possessed by the devil. That's fucked up. So, uh... I was fucked up, huh? Too bad about the old lady. She was nice to me. What a day, huh, Jackie? I heard you got possessed by the devil. That's fucked up. So, uh... I was fucked up, huh? Firefighters continue to comb through the rubble Say of the defunct Lucky morning. Mannequin Company warehouse. The building burned to the ground in a four alarm blaze earlier this week. Investigators believe the location may have been popular with squatters and are looking into whether the blaze may have been caused by a faulty generator they had been using. Workers say the search for bodies has been hampered by the sheer number of mannequins still in the building. Divorce can be hard, long, and sometimes a bit sore. I ought to know, I'm a lawyer. That's why I opened Dave's drive through Divorces and Discount Daiquiri. At Dave's, your past is in the rear view mirror. drive through Divorce. ...with a cold, fruity beverage. The future is an open road, just waiting for you. Remember, it's still a closed container if there's tape on the top of the straw. I ought to know, I'm a lawyer. So, if a former lady love got you by the balls and you're looking to bend her over a barrel, then look no further than Dave's drive through Divorces at Discount Daiquiri, located on the industrial loop at I-95. America. America, can you hear me? It's me, Bob. I know you're lost, alone, scared. But you're gonna be okay, America. You know why? Because I'm here. Oh, thank God you made it, sir. The nerve of them barging into our home uninvited. And armed, no less. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do. Most of the plants are damaged. No good will come of this. Mark my words. The nerve of them barging into our home uninvited. And armed, no less. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do. Most of the plants are damaged. No good will come of this. Mark my words. See if their lives have what it takes to jump over the top. Jack, boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I'm really sorry about what happened, Jackie. Whoever these fucking pricks are, they are gonna pay. Those guys won't be stupid enough to fuck with us again. I'm hungry. Fuck, I'm always hungry. You know what I mean? <laughs> always hungry. He loves his fruit, too. Sure am gonna miss the old lady. Her charm and wit were surpassed only by her culinary skills. The recipes were all in a head, too. Uh, took him to a grave. God damn it. Why'd it have to be Aunt Sarah? Huh? Why couldn't it have been somebody who can't cook, like that damn nosy housekeeper? Oh shit. I'm really sorry about what happened, Jackie. Whoever these fucking pricks are, Bob they are Are you a student at the Clinton Community College? 
Did you attend the bi-quarterly safe sex seminar? If so, you may be part of a mandatory condom recall. If you received a pamphlet from controlled oh boy. you may be in possession of a faulty condom. If your condom was already open, brittle, or had a staple to it, please bring the condom in question to your local controlled conception for a free replacement. Remember, condoms help prevent the spread of AIDS and other STDs, such as herpes and HPV. Broken condoms, oh boy. That's no joke. the radio will play something else. Sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jackie. You did what you had to do. No one blames you for what you did. For me, it's not about the money. It's the art. If you ever need the name of a good pig farmer, you just let old Butcher know. Some might say I'm just a janitor. But without me to clean up the mess, the city would be swimming in blood and guts. I remember when my grandpa died, threw himself in a furnace just so he wouldn't leave a mess. Oh shit. I'm sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jackie. You did what you had to do. <laughs> Jesus. Hey Jackie. Hi, hi, Jackie. Have fun at the funeral, Jackie. The one time Nigel finally takes me out, they destroy the place. Gonna need more than me to clean up this mess. Don't know why Mr. Butcher told me to keep out of the bathroom. Mm, I just saw why. Whoa, must have been one hell of a party last night. Gonna need more than me to clean up this mess. Don't know why Mr. Butcher told me to keep out of the bathroom. Jackie. Oh, I got to see the rest of the house now. There may be something, I don't know. Oh wow, you can actually see past the door, like there's nothing there. It's just the, the skybox. It's just the outside. <laughs> That's pretty lazy. Like they didn't even render that. Same thing here. 
So normally there's a bathroom here, but it's not rendered anymore. You can just see the outside. Wow, look at that. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, because normally here there's like a closet or something, but... Huh. Same thing here, just... Just outdoors. There's nothing here. Wow, that's so wild. There's some kind of line there, though. I don't know if that's missing geometry or what. So not a lot to look at out here. Well, I guess I can go to my room. of Jenny, yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. Son, I'm just, I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah, let's go. As soon as you're ready, we're out of here. Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You buy it. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's, real shithole of a bar. But the waitress, biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, and Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. Ooh. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did. Jackie. 
None of this is real. Here you go, Jackie. Uh, so obviously there's going to be some kind of shootout. So I will save this for another time because I need to go to bed. It's 1.41. It's later than I thought. So let me save. All right. So it's a very, it's a somber note. But uh, it is what it is. Either way, uh, thank you to whoever was watching tonight. Uh, Linda at the Gamer Girl. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, thank you, Last Royal Lava. Thank you so much for the follow as well as the chat. Rax the Great, thank you for stopping by. Buster Gundo, thank you for stopping by. Um, yeah, so that'll be all for today. I, it's an important day tomorrow. So I'm not going to, you know, be preachy about it. But if you're of age, do what you got to do and do the right thing for tomorrow. We need it now more than ever. So I'll catch you later. Have a good night and take care. Peace.